A UFO in China's skies forced Zhaoshan Airport to stop operations on July 7th. Outbound flights were grounded after the unidentified flying object was detected by a flight crew. The incident has captured the attention of Chinese media. Theories about the UFO's identity are burning up on the Internet as well. They include everything from a hidden U.S. bomber to an elaborate man-made hoax. For now, the UFO continues to be a mystery. A spokesman from China's Civil Aviation Administration confirmed to ABC News that the matter is under investigation. Some Chinese residents are on edge this morning after another apparent UFO sighting. It's the second one in two weeks. The first sighting was on July 7th, and an airport had to be shut down. All right, that's a UFO if I've ever yeah, seen one. Yeah, can you that's identify undeniable. it? That's undeniable. The airport had to be shut well, down after people apparently saw twinkling lights above the airport terminal. 17 flights had to be diverted. The last, the latest sighting happened just two days ago, and people say they saw four lantern-like objects forming a diamond shape in the air, hovering in the sky for over an hour. An right. aviation expert say they don't know what it was. It wasn't a plane. Scientists from all over the world are trying to figure out what caused a mysterious blue light to spiral in the sky over Norway on Wednesday. As UFO sightings go, this one was as good or as weird as it gets. A light appearing high in the Arctic sky, baffling those who saw it and exciting a lot of comment. Early yesterday morning, just before dawn, this appeared in the Norwegian sky. A blue light, small at first, growing into a spiral and then disappearing into what appeared to be a black hole. In the northern community of Trondelag and on a Norwegian military base, cell phones snapped, video cameras rolled, and bloggers got busy. That tonight, Norwegian authorities were investigating strange lights seen in the Arctic sky. The spiraling white light was seen for several minutes Wednesday morning. Locals say the light appeared to be bigger than the moon. Thousands of Norwegians bombarded the Meteorological Institute to ask what that light could have possibly been. Some feared it could have been a meteor. Others a black hole, and there are even those that thought it could be aliens. A strange spiraling white light was spotted in the early morning sky over Sydney, with even skeptical witnesses wondering if it was a UFO. The unusual sight was recorded by hundreds of people from Victoria north to Queensland. A spiral in the sky around a bright light. Scientists left baffled by an unexplained circular light seen hovering high over Moscow on Wednesday evening. People described it as seeing a wide circular formation in the sky. Footage capturing the spectacle will help whether scientists and, and specialists find an explanation for the event. What was in the skies over Jerusalem? And why did it stop over one of the most treasured sites in Christianity? There's a new video this morning that some say may be proof we're not alone in the universe. A UFO in the form of a bright light is seen descending over the dome of the rock in Jerusalem. The video is said to be taken over the weekend. Uh, then suddenly the light shoots up into the sky. There you see it. Another video from a different angle uh, appears to show the light doing the same thing. Now it is sparking intense debate on the Internet. Trace Gallagher following this live from our West Coast News. So the question is, what was that UFO? What was it doing over Jerusalem? And, you know, is he back? Yeah, and that is the question, by the way, Megan, because, you know, critics, it's, it's difficult for them to dismiss this because there are so many different angles. We've got four different videos, all from various perspectives, but they do not know of anything like this in the Israeli army. All right, because listen, I don't, I don't like to be scared. I, I just can't take it. It's, you know, I don't know what it is. Well, I wish I could give you an answer to this bizarre sighting. I really can't, but I can tell you that earlier today, there were dozens and dozens of people right here on 23rd and 8th. They were standing right here, and they were all in a stupor, just crowded together, looking into the sky. Well, a lot of people are looking up. It's because of a mystery in the sky. Is it a balloon, a UFO? Whatever it is, it sure has a lot of people talking. I would assume reporter Jeff Begay says live in Chelsea, where crowds have gathered. Jeff, what's this all about? Well, Sade, we don't know.
Look at that. Oh my gosh. What the heck is that? What is that? Gosh. Disclosure is very close, and the American people need to prepare themselves very soon for an announcement from our government that there is, in fact, an extraterrestrial presence engaging this planet and the human race. You're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area er, er, 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and... And... <laughs> I've kind of been running a, across the country, um, oh man, I don't know where to start, they're, uh, they're, they're gonna, um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra dimensional beings that, an earlier precursor of the um, space program made contact with. Uh, they, they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of, of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military, I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now are but they're not doing they're not doing anything they are not they want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable discharge <laughs> In some way, something knocked us off the air, and we're on a backup system now. Is it the government, or...? I don't know. It has to be something, though. Well, did you hear... Now, you tell me, because you were listening. That was awful strange. There was a really weird guy on the air when it went off? Yeah, real weird out. Like, uh, going, sort of, sort of sounding paranoid, yeah. schizophrenic. Like crying and everything. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. And how far into the conversation was it when, when it went off? And just a couple, about 15, 20 seconds, I'd say. Oh, you, you, you guys missed, you, you really missed a call then, and I've got a feeling somebody didn't want you to hear it. 
Yeah. Because <laughs> um, it was really strange. All of a sudden, I'm hearing Mark Furman. And when I, when well, I right, well the, network, the network, of course, went immediately to a backup tape while we tried to figure out what blew up here. Uh -huh. The transmitter went so that's what you up. heard suddenly for some unknown reason. I've never seen it do this in all the years, all the years that we've been on the air. I have never seen the transmitter in this way just simply fail, a massive fail, like a massive heart attack or some kind.